Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? My name is B. Avery, and we are here for another trailer reaction split between two studios, Marvel and Sony. Now, this is the third trailer for the Spider-Man rebooted series, starting with Tom Holland. I love the first two trailers. Even the second one, and I was the one I always, you know, scream it. Well, actually, I didn't do it in a reaction video. It was just like comment sections afterwards. I was really upset with the trailer because I thought they revealed too much. I did not like the fact that they showed Iron Man saving the ferry and that they also uh, had a few other scenes. To, oh, when um, Tony Stark was confronting Peter on that bridge or whatever, and he was like, I'm nothing without the suit. And he's like, if, you don't, if you're nothing without it, then that means you shouldn't have it. Those two scenes right there, I thought was too much. I thought they would just save. I thought it would be best if they saved it for the movie. But now we have trailer number three. I'm always one screaming and saying that the you know studios show too much in the trailers. I didn't think a third trailer was gonna come out, seeing that this one is like a month and a half away. But we got a third trailer. I want to stay away from it because I want to go in fresh, not knowing much. But I just love Spider Man so much. If you couldn't tell already, and I just can't help myself. There are two trailers that we're gonna that you're gonna watch for me today. Uh, we got the regular trailer and the international trailer. The regular trailer, uh, the domestic trailer, is gonna be on Marvel's uh, channel, like that matters to you. And the other one is on Sony. So I want to kind of split it up and give each studio a view or whatever. So uh, let's uh, let me put on these headphones, and you guys can stop listening to me talk about the trailer and you can watch me watch the trailer if my monitor will come up okay here we go finally here we go good evening peter oh you have 576 possible web shooter combinations that is awesome. i can keep that suit yeah doesn't fit me so when's our next retreat what next mission we'll call you all right. That's not a hug. I'm just grabbing the door for you. I'm not there yet. That's still right, fun. Good luck out there. <laughs> this is Ark <Eric> Soft. <laughs> hey, Peter. You coming tonight? I can't tonight. I got the Stark internship. What's up, guys? Mr. Stark, here's my report for tonight. I stopped the uh, Grand Theft Bicycle. Hey, could you do me a favor? Hold on to that. Does anybody fight? Oh, I helped this old lady and she bought me a churro. So. That was nice. <laughs> I just feel like I could be doing more. He just Wait wants to help minute. people. You guys nice. aren't the real Avengers. Hulk gives it away. New move I'm working on. Not bad. Oh. God, this feels so strange. Oh. oh. Okay. These weapons are crazy dangerous. Yeah. Listen, Peter, there are people who handle this sort of thing. Can't you just be a friendly neighborhood Spider Man? Oh, smashed his ass. Let go of me, let go of me. Shoot. The world's changing, boys. It's time we change, too. This is my chance to prove myself. We have a Spanish quiz. <laughs> you gotta get better at this part of the job. I don't understand. Yeah, that was, huh? Now you're global? I'm intimidated. Oh, hey, guys. My friends out there! What are you hiding, Peter? Yes, I'm just kidding, I don't care. Bye. There's a ton of other subsystems in here, but they're all disabled by the training wheels protocol. I'm sick of Mr. Stark treating me like a kid. <laughs> you are a kid. Yeah, a kid who can stop a bus with his bare hands. <laughs> training wheels. That's funny, okay. We're gonna do number two real quick. I already got that bad boy pulled up. Alrighty. My mouse doesn't wanna work all the way. Make that bigger. Three, two, one. International trailer. There's Captain America. There's Ooh. Iron Man. Whoa, look at that new guy. Who's that? That's my cue, I gotta go. This dude. I'm trying to fight with Captain America and I stole his shield and I threw it at him. At him. Oh, he's big now. I gotta go. <laughs> it was the most amazing thing that's ever happened. So Mr. Stark was like, hey, Andrews. And I just sort of flipped in. Hey, just a second. Coming. Oh. Hey. We have thin walls here. 
the rich and the powerful, they don't care about us. We have to pick up after them. We have to eat their table scraps. These alien bastards are tough. You got to use the stuff they use. The world's changing. It's time we change, too. So what is our next retreat? What, next mission? We'll call you. Think of a little more mentoring. It could be a real asset to the team. That's not a hug. I'm just grabbing the door for you. Oh, all right, kid. Good luck out there. Someone is collecting stuff from Avengers battles and building these crazy weapons. This is my chance to prove myself. Get down here. What if somebody had died tonight? Different story, right? Because that's on you. I wanted you to be better. Eight years without any trouble from those bozos up in Stark Tower. Man, this little bastard in red tight shows up. Woo! And he thinks he can tear down everything I built. I've got a plane full of brand new Avengers weaponry to load up. We're gonna put them out of business. We're gonna take everything they got. Woo! You're not gonna stop me. Too. Still, yeah. still a shield. All right, so much to talk about right now. I got some things that make me happy, and I got some things that kind of make me upset slightly a little bit. I did like the international trailer a lot better. They had a more serious tone, and we also got to see more of the vultures. Uh, Michael Keaton's motivation as to why you know he's doing the things that he's doing. We got a ton of new footage in both of these uh, trailers, and I love every uh, bit of it for the most part. Uh, now, one thing in the first trailer that kind of got me excited, but I turned me off was when Peter. I don't necessarily know if I'm a fan of Peter's suit being so computerized. Uh, with all the tech inside and all the wiring and whatnot. I mean, I haven't seen the movie yet. It could be cool. But something that made me love Spider-Man so much growing up as a child and that old cartoon in the 90s was that Peter always had to think for himself and, excuse me, think quick. And if he didn't, you know, he's high in the sky, you know, hundreds of feet in the air. He can fall and, you know, bust his ass or something like that. So it just kind of seems like he's cheating now with all this tech that he has in uh, in his suit. And the trailer says something like, okay, there's 368 different web combinations. I mean, does Stark do that for him? I mean, that's a, I mean, it makes sense for him to do that. But the Spider-Man that I know, he was always in his lab just trying to figure out new ways to enhance his webbing. Because I remember it was in the old Spider-Man cartoon. And I have that here um, on DVD. Um, if you must know, this is the Spider-Man, the return of the Green Goblin. Spider-Man versus Doc Ock. Uh, Daredevil versus Spider-Man. And Spider-Man versus Venom. That, I mean, that's how much I love this stuff, guys. And I got my Spider-Man. It works. Spider-Man is my favorite character in Marvel. Batman is my favorite in DC. But anyway... Uh, Spider-Man was always having his, uh, always had to enhance his webbing, and it worked out for him the most part. But I forgot the name of the villain. It was this one villain that was like made out of water and could transform into water and whatnot. So Spider-Man had to go to the lab and tinker around to find a new webbing that would beat that particular bad guy, and he always had to do that. But when I saw that you have 360 something combinations of webbing. It just kind of links, seems like, you know, they're jumping over that and took it away. These are things that I want Peter Parker to solve himself, not Tony Stark. But I haven't seen the movie. We're just going to have to wait and find out when it comes out July 7th of this year, which is right around the corner. Something else that I noticed about the trailer, and I'm, a, uh, I'm the first one, um, actually, I, dang, maybe I should have did two different videos for another, for each trailer. Uh, what, what, what was it? I don't, I can't remember, but it still looked cool when, you know, the computer came on and his suit was lighting up and whatnot. Something that stood out for me in the second trailer was I liked the different view that we got from the Civil War showing Spider-Man, you know, um, doing selfie videos, talking about, hey, you know, hey, that's my cue. 
But something doesn't seem right here. It seems like they kind of messed up the continuity. Because when you saw Civil War, as soon as Giant Man or Ant Man got big, the next shot we saw Spider Man going like, it was a wide shot of him. He was like, oh, holy shit. But in the international trailer, as he's grabbing um, a war machine in the air, you say, we see Spider Man saying, oh, he's big now. I got to go. So. I don't know. I mean, maybe they didn't line it up perfectly. Did he say, holy shit, you know, then make a video and say, hey, I got to go? Um, you know, I don't know. But we did get a lot of new footage in both of these trailers. I mean, there, there's really four trailers now. This is like they're saying number three, but we really have four. And I just want to know, why did you show so much footage? I mean, even when Spider-Man was at the bank vault and he's like, you guys aren't the Avengers. What we've seen in the previous two trailers, that was enough. But now we get to see them with their new weapons and, and all of that stuff. And it looked cool. Like they had Spider-Man all wrapped up in the, in the I don't know what the hell it was. It, it was something that intrigued me. Uh, the weapons that they're making from all the Avengers fights in the Shatari army from the Avengers movies. But I don't feel that they should have shown that. And they just showed just so much for what the Vulture is trying to do and his whole plan. And I am very excited about the movies. But I am, you know, going in like, oh, okay, I hope they didn't just spoil all the movies. Because when I saw Captain America Civil War last year, I was lucky enough to see it early at an early screening. And at that time, I had only seen trailers. I didn't see any featurettes or TV spots. And one of the uh, things that stood out in that movie to me the most was when, uh, what's his name? Uh, not the Black Widow, uh, the guy with the metal arm, I the Winter Soldier. When he threw his metal uh, arm to punch Spider-Man, and Spider-Man just caught it like it was nothing like, oh, cool, dude, you have a metal arm. I was like, holy shit, like, seriously. And then I was like, whoa, you know, that caught me off guard. But after I saw the movie up until his release, they put that in TV spots and everybody didn't get that same pop, that same wow factor that I did. But it doesn't mean that I'm not excited for this movie. I really am. I'm just a little skeptical now because I don't like going into movies knowing everything with all the footage. Uh, but we're just going to have to see. Like I said, I love Spider-Man. I got the Raimi trilogy right here on Blu-ray. All three of those. I also have the Amazing Spider-Man in 3D Blu-ray. And also I have the Amazing Spider-Man 2, this shitstorm of a movie. And if you're wondering why I have the copy of this when I hated the movie so much, is because my friends, um, you know, they, they knew I hated this movie so much and got it for me as a gag gift. And when I got it, I didn't have to pay for it. I was also kind of like, well, I'm glad I have it because I wanted to listen to the special features and also the commentary just to see what the hell they were thinking when they cut this movie together because this is just ridiculous. ridiculous. But this Spider-Man Homecoming is, is by John Watts who did Cop Car. I have not seen that movie. Uh, word around the street is this movie is really good from the test screenings that they have. I, I don't think they started doing regular screenings yet, but those sources that are saying this much, I do trust them. But I still want to keep my expectations low. Please do not mess this up, Marvel and Sony. I mean, I know it's hard to make a good movie. It's even harder to make a great movie. But guys, that's just my opinion slash reaction of the new Spider-Man trailer 3 and international trailer. Did these trailers get you more excited for the film? Or are you less excited? Do, are you turn, did I turn you on? Did I turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. And since we're on the top of a comic book, guys, please help me out. Black Panther, a Marvel Studios comic book film, comes out February of 2018 next year, and I want to go, and I need your help. Is it, a long, is it a likely chance that I'll go? Who knows? It's a long shot, I know, but I'm going for it. It's a, a comic book movie. I love comic book movies. I love Marvel. I love Black Panther. It's coming out in Black History Month, and I'm black. It would just be a dream come true. So help me out and get there by sharing this video 1,000 times. And if you like this video, you can give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide. You can go to my website, bookmark it, and also look me up on social media. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in for my opinion slash reaction for these latest two Spider-Man Homecoming trailers. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Kedavery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.